James Durbecker here with Crescent Kayaks. Today we're going to do a walkthrough video on the ultralight. We're calling this kayak the ultimate throw and go kayak. So getting right into it, we do injection molded handles by Yak Attack, and you'll see those throughout the boat, which is a really nice feature because the, the idea behind this boat is to be able to, you know, with the lightweight design, be able to carry it, portage it to rivers, creeks, little skinny water that you always wanted to get to. Um, again, we try to incorporate a lot of designs in a small boat. Um, one really nice feature a lot of these smaller boats do not have is a storage unit. So, you know, you, you got to maximize storage wherever you can get it. So we do a quarter turn hatch here. Uh, you can easily do hoodie, um, anything else, uh, small day pack. Going to the, uh, the layout of the deck, um, very rigid and open. Uh, we eliminated the center console because on a smaller boat like this, we need to maximize space whenever we can. We have the, uh, the, the foot track, so, you know, these can be adjusted to any paddler length. And a really great thing that we're finding about this kayak is it, it transcends just kayak fishing. Um, we were able to do that. It transcends kayak fishing basically to become a, a great recreational boat as well. And we were able to get away with that because we integrated all of the kayak fishing accessories into the boat. So the Yak Attack tracks, uh, the, the rear tank pole tracks, everything is integrated into it. So you can remove all of it, do it as a rec boat, or you can have a really great platform to, to build out the, the kayak. Uh, to be the fishing rig however you want it. So uh, again, the same seed that we use on all of our platforms, again, great fabric. Uh, the mesh makes it so it, you know, you're not gonna hold water, it's gonna breathe, you're gonna be cool. Um, and then the design of it is, is really great as well. Uh, with the, the curvature, we offer really well, uh, very well uh, lumbar support. And also it will, uh, with, the, with the bend of it, it'll keep you off of your scapulas when paddling. Coming to the back, uh, a, a really nice, oh, well, let's touch on the Mighty Mount. I'm really excited about that. And so we went away from the interior rod holders. Uh, we, we think cutting into the boat compromises the hull. And also we, we feel like the Mighty Mount just gives you way more versatility, uh, again, to customize it the way you want. So touching on the rear tank wall, uh, we're, we're really uh, excited to say that a black pack will fit in the back of this. And also the bungee cords, again, all about open customization. This entire bungee cord system is removable. Uh, these knobs are removable. You can, you can do the tracks however you'd like to do them. Um, now touching on, on the hull, uh, a lot of times on a 10-foot kayak, you lose a lot of performance. So Kayak Media has been calling this kayak the best paddling 10-foot kayak on the market. So, and, and this is the stuff that we take time to care about. So the really the most important feature I think to, to touch on is this full-length keel system. So this is really gonna help for tracking. Tracking meaning the boat's gonna go straight, go where you want it to. Again, with our octopus floor, the, the rigidity, the, the, uh, the strength that you'll find in that, you can see all of the structure that we've put into it. So there's not gonna be that flex like you find with a lot of other boats, especially with the material we're using. And then touching on stability. So we're, everything we do, especially on our kayak line, we wanna blend performance, but also stability. So and the way we achieve that is, so we have a full length keel, and then we're, we're calling these sponsons, on either side of that keel. And what they're gonna do is as your weight shifts, these sponsons are gonna act as counterbalances. So uh, again, you're not gonna have the drag of them in the water, but when you need them for the stability, they're gonna act like that for you. So um, we're very excited for, for the quality of boat that we've created at the price point. I think if you wanna get into the sport, you know, American made, I do not think there's a better value than, than the ultralight at 699.